Let us discuss the Reddick sort now, which is also a linear sorting technique in which we can sort the elements in the linear time. Suppose these are the elements given to us. Here you can see that the length of the numbers are same. All the numbers are of the three digits. So this is actually the limitation of the Reddick sort that we can do the Reddick sort for the set of elements which are of the equal length. Now what we have to do here in uh, Reddick sort, you sort the numbers according to the last Reddick means the so we have to do the sorting according to the number on, uh, according to the ones radix then we will do the sorting with the tens radix and then with the hundred radix fine so do the sorting according to the last radix means the ones position digit okay if i we do this then the zero is here so the first number which will come would be 500 actually we are, we are doing the counting sort okay in the counting sort the range of the numbers are small so what are the range of the number that will get here it will be 0 to 9 we are going to sort the numbers according to the last vertex means according to the digit at the ones position so 0 1 will first come <coughs> then for 1 there are two ones one here and one here since Counting sort is a stable sort, so this element will come first and this will come later. And then 2, there is no 2, and 3, yes we have a 3, 323, and 4, yes there are 2 4s. So first we will pick this one because this, this is the stable sort. In 5, yes there are 2 5s, 1 this and 1 this one. So this one will be taken first, this one will be taken next. 6 there is no 7 there is no 8 so the 9 1 160 9 and now we will do the sorting with the last radix second last radix sorry in the second last radix once again we have two zeros one here and one here so this will be taken first second one will be this one 306 and there is only one 1 1 so 8 1 1 2 here we have 2 3 2 3 no other 2 for 3 yes there are two threes one this one and one this one so this one will be taken first 631 231 will be the next one 4 this way 1 4 5 no 6 there are two sixes 4 6 5 and 1 6 9 so we will pick this one first And then we have 9794. Fine. Now after this, we'll do the sorting with the help of the hundred place radix means the last radix. First radix, sorry. Now pick this. There is no zero. There is one one that is one sixty nine. A two yes there is a two two thirty four. For three yes there are two threes. One is three zero six. Another one is three two three. Four four forty five and then four sixty five. Then a five yes there is a five five hundred. Six yes there is a six. Six thirty one seven yes there is a seven. 8 yes there is a 8 now you see that the numbers are in the ascending sequence so what we did here we have first sorted the numbers according to the last radix we applied the counting sort and this is the result then we apply the counting sort with respect to the second last radix and with respect to the first radix we again apply the counting sort so we are applying the counting sort for three times here okay so if we write the algorithm for the uh, for the radix sort here we are assuming that an a array is given which has n element and the length of the number is also given okay then 
since the length of the number is n so we are going to apply the counting sort for d times length of the number is d so we will apply the counting sort for d times so apply counting sort on a at radix i okay so as many radixes are there you will apply counting sort there's that many time so this is the radix sort we already know that the time complexity of uh, counting sort is theta n and space complexity is also theta n what we are doing here we are applying the counting sort for d times so d into theta n will be the time complexity of this radix sort if i incorporate d inside this so this the complexity can be written as theta dn and we do not need any extra space there is no extra space then required than the counting sort yes you can consider it for the i but that is only a single variable so the space complexity of the radix sort is also theta n an array is already required for this counting sort the b array the same array can be reused many times okay so the radix sort requires theta n space it requires theta d n time and theta d theta n space if you consider that d is a constant quantity in that case we can write the complexity as theta n as well so the time complexity of radix sort can be written as theta n thank you